All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final, final episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus, when we will get the true final ending to this game, where I think we'll probably encounter Arceus. <laughs> I hope so, but I haven't actually gotten to that part of the of the game yet because I've been stuck on this final encounter, which honestly is one of the more difficult as well as, I would say, one of the most unfair battles in the entire franchise that I have ever played. Cynthia's up there from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That battle was just bananas as well with her stupid Milotic that was constantly healing. But anyways, that's for a different video. <laughs> but anyways, there are a lot of steps to prepare for this battle to make sure that you're the most successful. So the first step is you want to hit level 6 star membership because level 6 star membership is the earliest point of the game where you're going to be able to craft or buy max revives. You can get max revives throughout the entire game in the later stages from quest lines, but you won't be able to craft or buy them until you hit level six star membership. So make sure you do that. Go catch all those Pokemon, catch Pokemon that you've never caught before, level up that membership. And as well, when you hit six star membership, you'll be able to buy them directly from Choi in the Jubilife Village for a whopping 3,000 yen. It's very expensive, but I'd have to say it's almost a necessity for the final battle because in the final encounter, you're going to go through a lot of stages and there's no healing chances in between. So it's just constant battles. So you don't want to be wasting turns reviving then hyper potioning. You want to be just do max revives right away. So I'm actually going to buy five more just in case, just in case just in case things get a little bit dicey. At level six star membership for the galaxy, or you're also able to craft them as well, but I'm a little impatient. So I decided to, uh, <laughs> I decided just to buy them. All right, so now that we have Max Revive set and ready to go, let's talk about team compositions. There are two main Pokemon that you should get to make this battle a little bit easier. I hope anyways, there might be more because I, like I said, I haven't beaten it yet. The first one is Blissey. This is going to be our tank Pokemon, which we're going to be sending out basically to soak out damage and attacks while we heal up all our other party members because once again, you do not get any point to revive or heal your team during this final encounter. So this one is an Alpha Blissey. It doesn't have to be Alpha. I caught this one at the Obsidian Waterfall in the first area of the game. You, there's actually one roaming around the Alabaster Highlands, the final snowy area of the game. Both are level 62, uh, but this one has an extra move I think called Drain Punch, um, which is its bonus move. It's cool, whatever. You don't really need Drain Punch for the final encounter. But anyways, the second Pokemon that you want to get is Darkrai. So Darkrai becomes available post-game. It actually appears as kind of like a sub-quest. It's not, it's not even labeled as a main quest. It's called the Dark Darksome Nightmare Quest. It basically tells you go to a specific area at night and then you'll just encounter Darkrai. Starting the battle is actually a little bit difficult. You have to sneak up on the Darkrai or break line of sight from it because if you try throwing a Pokeball right away at it, it just disapparates and then you, you can't hit it unless it doesn't see you. So yeah, so I changed. And then the next step is to change its move set. So I decided to go with, I'm going to change this one, the Hex one, to this one, to Hypnosis, because you might need that near the very end. And maybe Sludge Bomb as well for Dark Void. All right. So now that we're set, we I think we're good now. Let's go beat this game, finally. My goodness. All right, so obviously, big spoiler coming up if you haven't beaten the game yet. So if you haven't beaten the game yet, Avoid this video, click off now, but we're gonna encounter the final boss of this game. As you can see, it has already been revealed to us. He changed his costume. <laughs> so, this entire fight, like I said, you do not get to heal at any sort of point. And Volo is the ancestor of Cynthia, the Sinnoh champion. So, his composition is exactly Cynthia's minus the Milotic uh, because Milotic isn't in this game so he has five Pokemon that we need to take care of his lead Pokemon is the exact same lead Pokemon that Cynthia starts off with in the end of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that is a spirit tomb spirit tomb as a ghost as well as dark type Pokemon really the only thing it's weak against is fairy attacks and everything else is either all typical moves are neutral. So look how big that pussy is. It's so big. All right, so we're just going to do Dazzling Gleam. Once again, this was a move that we had to 
he has he uses full restore as well as you can see. Dark Pulse is fine. We tick. We tick. Well, at the move tutor, I picked up Dazzling Gleam as well as Ice Beam. Ice Beam will serve us a lot of good a little bit later on. This thing is so ridiculous. I am going to use Rain Punch. The alpha blisters that I told that I told you guys about. It doesn't really matter if the blister gets knocked out, to be honest with you, because we're just gonna max revive anyways. But I wa don't want to do is I don't want to swap in and then get smoked by an attack. That's not my favorite thing. So flamethrower this. Arcanine. Arcanine has Rock Slide, apparently. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use my Max Revive now, just to get my, my tank back in. I tried doing this without Max Revives, and honestly, it's just it was way too difficult, because using two phases in order to using two phases in order to actually beat this. It's just, you, you spend, you're basically just, all the reviving and you're gonna be doing is just to base, it's, it's, it's like negates itself, so you need to save yourself one turn. So there comes the Arcanine. The next one should be, he'll probably bring in his Togekiss now, which is fine. we get move blasted. I'm just gonna... I'll swap here. I'll bring in my Luxray here. I kept this Luxray on the team my entire play of the game. Mainly because it has a Thunder Wave. It just makes catching Pokemon so much easier. He withdraws. Power speed. I might bring in my pivot here actually. Let's pivot here. Tag some attacks. You want, by the end of this battle, you want your team to be all back up again. Basically. Wow. wow. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna bring my guard tomb here because I can one shot this thing with the strong style dragon claw. I did. That was very unideal healing. The token kiss is gonna come back in again. So dumb. Moon blast. Here. Okay, I'm gonna swap back into my Typhlosion because he resists moon type attacks. This boss does have an air uh, air attack. So just have to watch out for that. But I'm gonna bring up my Blissey now. Okay, it's fine, he's calm minding anyways. That's okay. That's okay. Get my pivot back up. That boosted stats, man. Real pain. Real, real pain. I do have Ice Beam for this thing. But I think this is the opportunity, good opportunity to be healing now.
Moonblast is fine. Now we just finish off the healing. Okay. Tank those attacks, Blissey! You can do it. Okay, now we Ice Beam. Close raid. I don't understand how he gets attacked right away. I don't get I don't get any attack. Okay, this is where I bring in Typhlosion. He has pedal dance, which actually does a lot of damage for some reason to my Blissey. Or to my Typhlosion. I have no idea why. Yeah, man. Imagine if you did, had to do this with Owl Max Revives. It would be so difficult. Wow. Right. Now we knock this thing out of that at the park. Okay. Next phase. Next phase. Next phase. Next phase. Get a little cutscene here. Volo is going crazy. It's just absolutely bananas. So not only do you have to face off against his six Pokemon, which are really good, all of a sudden, you got this. You got this coming in. Now what's this? Look at this thing. You have to face off against a legendary Pokemon. No heals. Tick boy, Giratina altered form. Keep in mind, I still haven't completed the scene yet, obviously, because I'm still playing it right now. So, uh, eventually this is all going to be new to me, and, like, I could royally screw this up as well. Yes. Alright. I'm not going to swap out of, of the Typhlosion. Because I don't want to get smoked by an attack. Actually, that's not that bad. So much health, dude. So much health. Those two dragon claws. Okay. I need to slow this thing down. I need a little bit of luck as well, so I'm gonna bring in Lux right here. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave. And hopefully we can get some paralysis going on here, cooking for us. He knows Earth Power. It doesn't one shot KO us because it doesn't have staff though, so we're okay. Now we just stay in. A little bit of luck, a little bit of luck. Punch. Oh baby! Oh baby! Alright, we're okay, we're okay. Okay, you think that's it? You think that's it? You're like, oh I won the game! Here comes Arceus! Psych! First I thought it was gonna go Alpha. It just transforms into origin form. What is this nonsense? Once again, there's no healing yet. You don't get to heal. He throws Earth Power right away. Oh my god. That's so stupid. Alright, so. I have not even. My last encounter, I didn't even get to. I threw down one move. I literally only had one Pokemon left. So I'm gonna go with Dark Pulse. This is how it goes. Oh my god! It has Aura Sphere! What the heck? Are you kidding me? Yes! Yes! Critical. How do you have Aura Sphere? Aura Sphere is a Lucario exclusive move. 
Okay, what's next? All right, so after this, this is all new to me now. Oh my god, it's getting back up. Okay. Okay. Getting to the stage took a couple hours because you have to uh, collect the rest of the plates in the game in order to to unlock this final battle. But can I heal, please? Please. The eighteenth and final plate from Volo. Okay. Things are happening. Azure flute. Can I heal, please? Let me heal. Yes. Man. I'm gonna leave you with Luxray. I'm also gonna save my game. Alright, here we go. Final, final ending time. Final ending time. Yeah, I do! The Azure Flute. Let's go, come on. Denied. Oh. Oh. My. Goodness. Okay. So that's where the video ends. <laughs> I guess. So to actually, it seems like to get the final encounter with Arceus, we actually have to complete the Pokedex, which I was not aware of. But we found out today. But anyways. That is the most difficult, stupid battle that I've ever played in a Pokemon game. And my general guide for you guys if you want to be successful in doing so. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed my Let's Play walkthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I will have a full review of the game up within the next three days or so. Channel members at uh, channel members will actually get a five-day early access to the review so if you want to learn more about channel memberships you can check out the link in the description that's well, this will probably be my final pokemon legends arceus video other than my review i just don't have time with the amount of other games going on right now to capture all the rest of the pokemon but i'm sure there's already a video elsewhere on youtube for you guys to watch so you can probably check out some of the other youtube but yeah hope you guys enjoy the series if you enjoy the series quick thumbs up for this last one of it and i will see you guys next time for whatever game i'm playing and we will play together very very soon